Well, welcome again to St. Mark's Chapel and our Wednesday meditation. Uh, I'm going to just read to you a small passage from John's Gospel, and it's uh, chapter 15. And these are words which Jesus spoke to his disciples. He said, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be complete in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Now, it's my great privilege to uh, be a canon of St. Albans Cathedral. And St. Albans is the oldest Christian site in this country. And it's been built to remember St. Alban, who was Britain's first saint. Now, the great thing about St. Alban is that he lays down a wonderful pattern for the Christian life. He died in the place of a Christian police. Uh, when the Romans came looking to arrest Amphibalus, who was a Christian priest, St. Alban took his clothes and he took his place. And he was given the option to get out of a death sentence by a magistrate. But instead of being one who was not prepared to give of his life, instead he said, I am Alban and I serve the one true living God. How courageous. And if only we were all that courageous in our faith. But he was and he gave his life for the sake of Amphibolus. And the wonderful uh, Benedictine monastery was built in the place where he died. Um, the Benedictines who were that marvellous uh, order who believed that to labour was to pray. Um, they showed the Christian life in, in deed, uh, as did St Alban. It said that um, when Alban died, his, they chopped off his head and his head rolled down and, uh, and a spring grew up where his head came to rest. It may have been there beforehand, we don't know, but anyway, a, a spring was there. And there is still a spring to this day, so that's very true. All kinds of miracles were attributed to Alban. The executioner's eyes were said to have popped out. Um, the miracle, however, wasn't any of the tales which grew up around Alban. The miracle was that after a short time of being a Christian and just observing the grace and godliness in the life of Anthabalus, in that short time, his faith was strong enough that he was willing to die for his friend. That truly is a miracle. We've seen all kinds of miracles in the same way just recently, haven't we, in the COVID crisis where people have been prepared to put their own safety second as they've cared for the life of others. May that be an example to all of us, to each of us, as we go through our lives, considering the needs of others above the needs of ourselves. And as Jesus said, even being prepared to give of our lives. I'm going to leave you with a prayer, just in which we pray that we might follow the example of Alban. So praying in the fellowship of the saints, may we worship and adore the true and living God and be faithful witnesses to Christ, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen.